today my group will explain about the display poster we made on this year's annual project. So first, Jennifer will explain about our research question. Our research questions are with two magnets, how many types of copper wires are needed to light up one LED bulb. And the second question is with two magnets, how many types of copper wires are needed to light up two LED bulbs. And the last question is with two magnets, how many types of copper wires are needed to light up three LED bulbs. Before we did the experiments, we did some research in the IT room and here's the background research. According to Wikipedia, an electric magnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by the flow of electric current. An electric magnet is created by running electric currents. Factors that cause the strength of the electromagnet are the power source and the number of windings in the electromagnet. A magnet can produce electricity because sometimes the wires carrying electric current are either attracted or repelled from each other. Electromagnets are useful in daily life, such as generator on alternator in a car, power plants that generate electricity on a large scale, and kitchen appliances such as blenders. And now we have the our hypothesis that the will be me on you. Our hypothesis is that the electromagnet will produce electricity to light up the LED bulb. Victor will explain the materials and the procedure before we do the experiment. The materials are 50 meter copper wire, one LED light, one light bulb, two batteries, on and off switch, magnet, all tissue roll, galvanometer, alligator clip, cable, and dynamo. The procedure are roll the wire on the tube and make 50 turns. Second, connect the turns of copper wire in, into the galvanometer. The third, insert two magnets into the tube and record the amount of energy. The fourth, Insert two magnets with 100 tons of wire and record the amount of energy. Fifth plus, insert two magnets with 384 tons of wire and record the amount of energy. As you can see, here is the our experiment table. Let me uh, explain to you about this. Attempt number one. First, we use 50 tons of copper wire with two magnets. It, uh, it won't produce any electricity. We learned that the number of magnets and the number of turns of copper wires are not enough to light up the LED bulb. Attempt number two. We use 100 turns of copper wires with two magnets. It also won't produce any electricity. We learned that the number of magnets and the numbers, number of magnets are not enough to light up the LED bulb. But attempt number three, we use 384 turns of copper wires with two magnets. It produces two new um, yeah. We learned that the electricity uh, uh, produced is too small so that it can light up the LED bulb. And now we are done with the experiment. Now my friend Nadia will explain to you further about the result and conclusion. So after we did the experiment, we've got the result and conclusion. And the result is 30 turns of wire and two magnets. It won't produce electricity. With 100 and 130 of wire and two magnets, it won't produce electricity either. And with 384 turns of wire, it will produce two new amperes. And then, from our experiments, we can conclude that the electricity produced is not enough to light up the box. It's because the magnet is not enough, even though it has many turns of copper wire, it will only produce little electricity. And then for the resources, Victor will the resources. The resources are wikipedia.org, wikielders.com, yahooelders.com. Now it's for our personal reflections for this annual project, then you can stop first. No, you go. <laughs> you go first. Uh, I had a really tough two weeks for the annual project, and well, we're stressed and we're tired, but anyways, it's been paid by uh, this great work, kind of. <laughs> but I'm happy to do this anymore.
Now, for sure, you can uh, tell us to the class that what is your question. For me, as the first time of the MLM project, I feel hard to do and confused. But after that, I I don't feel like hard to do again, and I feel and I know how to do the MLM project. And for me, it's a it's a it's a great two weeks uh, because I can complete this MLM project with before the deadline, the deadline comes. Um, me and my group had experienced many things together uh, in this last two weeks. I thank my group leader Nadia that has always encouraged me to work on my on our own project <laughs> and for all the teachers that have um, led us to the right path. Thank you.